If you're a WordPress user, you may have asked yourself this question before. What happens to my website if the pro license of my theme or plugin expires? Hey guys, welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. I'm Alex. Hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. So today I'm going to answer the question, what happens to your website? if the pro license of your theme or plugin expires. Well, when this happens, there are basically two things you're going to lose access to. The first thing you're going to lose access to would be support provided by the developers of that theme or plugin. And then the second thing you're going to lose access to will be updates, updates to the theme or plugin. Now, in all honesty, the first part isn't really that important because many developers don't offer great support to begin with. Now, I'm not saying all developers of themes or plugins are bad. What I'm saying is that there are many developers of plugins or themes whose customer support isn't that great. And the thing is, if you're having any issue with a particular plugin or theme, there are many websites out there where you can find solutions. You go to GitHub, you can use Quora, you can use Reddit, just use Google. You go online, search, I'm having trouble with this particular plugin or theme. You press enter, you'll find many links that will point you to different websites where you can find different kinds of solutions. And also, like the really, really popular plugins like Rank Math, Elementor, they have official Facebook groups that you can join for free and you can also get support from such groups. So losing access to developer support isn't that important. The really important part is you losing access to updates. Now, to properly understand this, we need to, first of all, ask ourselves, what is an update? What is the benefit of updating your plugin or your theme? Why do updates even exist in the first place? Well, an update exists for four main reasons. Number one, an update will be released when the previous version of the plugin or theme has a particular bug or maybe something isn't working properly, so they might fix this, fix that problem and then release an update where you can download and then you no longer have the problem or bug that existed in the, in the previous version. The second reason is when there is a security flaw. Now, note the difference between the two. The first one here, I'm talking about like if a bug with the functionality, uh, maybe uh, when you try to upload an image using that plugin, something happens to it or something like that. That's that's bugs that deal with functionality. I'm talking about security bugs in this case, right? Now. I'm talking about bugs that can allow hackers and malware to take advantage and infect your website. So first part is bugs that deal with functionality. Second part will be bugs that are actually security flaws. So an update can fix those two. But the third reason why an update exists is when new functionality has been added to the plugin or the theme. So maybe there's a brand new feature you will have that in a new update. And then fourth and final reason why an update exists is when there is an update to the main WordPress software itself. So if there's, if there's like a major update, let's say WordPress 5.6 has now moved on to 5.7, there might be certain things that have changed within WordPress itself. Themes and plugins will have to update themselves in order to be compatible with the latest version of WordPress. So those are the four main reasons why an update exists. And when you are no longer able to update your plugin or your theme, you would lose access to all these four things. Now, in the short term, in the short run, that may not really affect you because the truth is updates for themes and plugins don't occur every single time. It may take maybe like a month, two months, sometimes three, four months before there's a new update. So you may not really be affected in the short run. However, in the long run, when you're talking about six months, seven months, eight months, that's when things can become very, very serious. And that's when you can begin to feel the effects of not being able to update your plugin. So once again, when you're unable to update your plugin in the short run, you may not see the problem, but eventually it will catch up to you. And eventually you will need to update that plugin or that theme. Now, let me just also say this in all honesty, uh, the paid versions of plugins and themes are not really that expensive. We're not talking about paying $500 or $600 or $1,000. Unless, of course, maybe you're trying to buy agency plans where you can use the plugin on like 1 million websites or anything like that. You know, usually most plugins are around between $50 and $200. And even the more expensive plugins that are like, you know, $190, $200, most of those will be 
uh, on the WooCommerce, they're very expensive because those plugins are supposed to be used on websites that are commercial. WooCommerce is a commercial plugin. It's a plugin that you use for selling things, whether you're selling services or you're selling uh, products. So ideally, you should be making the money to be able to buy the license again. So think of paid versions of plugins and themes as investments, okay? You're investing in them to help you with your business, to help with your website, and ideally, by the end of the year, you should have made the money to be able to renew your license, okay? So the point I'm trying to make here is that think of the paid versions of plugins and themes as investments. Don't think of them as costs, oh, I'm, I'm spending money. No, think of them as investments, okay? So I'm saying this because I don't want you to be in a position where you'll see, uh, you know, renewing your license as, as, as a cost. Look at it as an investment and please try to keep your plugins and themes updated at all times. Security flaws are a big thing and when you, you can't run updates on your themes or plugins, your website will become very, very vulnerable. So hopefully I've been able to answer the question of what happens when the pro license of your plugin or theme expires. If you have any questions, of course, put them down in the comment section below. I'm Alex once again. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, share the video with anyone who you feel might benefit from it. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.